Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be trying to find an Amazon FBA product to sell in 10 minutes, that was five, 10 minutes or less. Uh, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So we are starting here in Helium 10 black box keyword section. Um, let's go ahead and open up a timer because we're gonna need one. And then we will do, there we go, beautiful. Um, started, perfect. So search volume, I want it to be significant. I don't wanna mess around here. Go up to 10,000. Uh, monthly revenue, again, gotta be significant. It's just not worth doing. 16,000 minimum, uh, max 40,000. This is theoretical, guys, right? So ideally, you know, I'm building a product for an audience. I'm not starting with the product idea first. It's actually one of the last things I would be thinking about but it does make for a fun idea. So if you're doing product research and you're at this stage, this is something you could look into. A minimum review, no maximum review, do 500. And then categories, arts, craft, sewing, home and kitchen, office products, uh, tools, home improvement. We'll just leave it like that. We'll go ahead and hit search and we'll just see what we can do. So like a junction box, not exactly sure what that is. We'll open it up and we'll check them out after. So I think we'll spend the first several minutes looking for ideas and the last couple analyzing them and then have a decision ready within the next eight and a half minutes or so. So floating shelf hardware, hardware itself, dance garment bags for dancers. I like that because it's it's kind of like a hobby or a profession or a, something someone's enthusiastic about. So while well, you just see dance garment bag, I see dance garment bag, I see ballet shoe holder, I see um, you know, several different products that this person might be interested in buying. So if it's ever ge geared towards a person, that's a great product. Bottle riser sink attachment. We'll check that out. Um, that's probably a one-stop purchase, but we'll see. Come through here, so plug-in light, Wall light, that's a little too generic. Or just broad, I would say. Bottle cleaner sink attachment. These sink attachments are popular. I mean, we'll check that out too. Bottles are huge, like reusable bottles nowadays. Gaming wall decor, no way. Um, candle holders for table centerpiece. It's kind of like general decor for the middle of a table. Probably skip that. Bath mat stone. Let's check that out. Also father gift again, it's just very generic. I think I'm using the wrong word here. It's too general, right? Like that doesn't mean anything. So we can't count on that one keyword to tell us what to sell really. That'll make it a little bit difficult. Um, it's like a little too simple. It's kind of good um, at points. I may have even liked that more, but power tool organizer, that's a pretty good one. Let's check that out, right? Anything having to do with like storage solutions, specifically storage for a specific thing. That was kind of a redundant use of the word specific, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's like, they're telling us exactly what they're trying to store. So we have a way of making that better. Um, we could look up the most popular, um, you know, saws and the most popular drills and stuff and make an organizer specifically for those. So cardboard shoe boxes. That's funny, it's so simple that it might be good, but I, I think it's a little too simple. We're getting through this list pretty good here. We're actually done um, 44 phrases found within this price range, this review count, etc. cetera. Um, let's go check out what we got. So we used the first half of our time, six minutes left, you can see it up here going down. A junction box, okay. I'm slightly familiar with what this is. Let's check it out. So 6,500 people per month are looking for it. Let's go ahead and change these, uh, not the filter results, these settings here. Helium 10, if you're watching, please make it so that these don't keep resetting. I mean, what's up with that? Right, dimensions, filament, like I don't need any of this. Um, and I turn it off and then it comes back on again. BSR, no, I don't care. Uh, essentially, I just wanna be seeing reviews and how much they're making. That's all I use this tool for. There we go. I don't even need the sales graph. So much more clean, so much easier to just look through everything. So it's generally a good idea to kind of see what the revenue 
seems to be like what direction is it going is it all high social proof and people dealing with electricity um they might not want to buy something with from someone with one review right as we see here right 49 46 sales per month it's not total complete science there but it is something to think about are there people in your space doing well with a smaller amount of reviews and fantastic branding that kind of proves your concept if not if consistently it's always the better one um, or the higher social proof one excuse me that's probably telling you something but here then again we see something like this right so lamo tech 28 reviews 11 116 thousand <laughs> what i might do in that situation is search lamo tech and just see if they have a website like are they driving uh, they're on Walmart, right? They don't seem to have a website that I can find immediately ranking on Google, but it is slightly popular, it looks like. Uh, mostly just the big e-commerce websites, though. So this is a maybe, but primarily a no. Floating shelf hardware. There's a lot of hardware here. So what are you going to do? What is a problem that people are having? Primarily from the reviews that I'm seeing, it doesn't look like people really are having a problem, right? It's another good question to ask with this. Are people having a problem here? Um, so, you know, hovering over some of these and looking at the reviews, we see, you know, maybe that's one thing we could keep on, right? It's review rating, ratings, there we go. Um, are consistently threes showing up, twos showing up, or is it pretty much all 4.8s, 4.7s? That's pretty good if it's 4.7. So dance garment bags for dancers. Okay, this one's really specific. They're kind of going along the lines of what I was saying. There's different pouches for different products. I think you could even create a new product for this market. We only got two minutes left, so we got to come to a conclusion pretty quickly. So there's 10,000 search volume. Someone with 42 reviews. Okay, that's a... Well, it is a dance competition roller. It's a garment bag. That still counts. That's incredible. $250. This is what I was telling you guys about with this, these like enthusiast markets where people will spend money on what they're doing because they love doing it slash the parents of dancing kids will spend money on it because they love that their kids are dancers. It's just, there's so much revenue here compared to, you know, the size of some of these sellers. I, there's hardly one above a thousand reviews. And then there's probably a lot that we can improve on or improve the aesthetic of some of these. Um, the ratings aren't bad. The bat, the worst I've seen is 4.2. So it's not so much that I don't think we're solving a problem. We could go look at what some of the problems are for your inspiration, but it primarily seems like we're creating a better version, right? So thinking outside of the box, looking at products that aren't on Amazon or just straight up going on something like PicFu and asking dancers what a better garment bag would look like. Maybe there's something consistently wrong that isn't showing up in the Amazon reviews that we could fix or something they wish that existed that is not necessarily wrong with this one, but it would be awesome if there was one that had this feature. So I think we're going to go with this one. I don't even need to look at the other ones. This is the perfect example of something where you could start a brand around it because if I sell this, well then check this out. I could go dance, bag, mat, pole, tights, leotard, garment rack, bag with garment racks. That's what we were just talking about. There's probably something else we could include or there's something, how some way we can make a better version. Um, shoes, probably won't do the shoes, but we just put in the word dance and there's obviously three to five products that we could choose there. So if you're someone who's interested in this kind of, you know, market, you could potentially build a whole brand here that gets repeat customers, that gets word of mouth sales because, hey, this garment bag's the best. Yeah, this is the one we're going with. Stop the clock. We did it with 10 seconds to spare. Probably did it a lot more than that if I wasn't talking so much. But that's the one we're gonna go with, 10 minute jackpot. Winner this week, this season's winner is the dance. I deleted it so now I don't remember what it was called. Something garment bag, dance garment bag. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Later.